Oh, you're still around, huh? Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 reality TV stars that haven't gone away. For this list, we'll be looking at once famous reality TV stars who are still desperately holding on to relevancy. If you like what you're hearing, be sure to check out the full song at the link below. Number 10. Omarosa Omarosa found herself a national enemy when she starred in the first season of The Apprentice. Despite being a good player, she earned the ire of fellow castmates and viewers for her manipulative strategies and caustic personality. She subsequently starred in two more iterations of The Apprentice, before randomly being appointed as the Director of Communications for the Office of Public Liaison under Trump's administration. After departing the White House in early 2018, Omarosa wrote a book about the Trump administration titled Unhinged and returned to reality TV, this time starring in the first season of the American Celebrity Big Brother. So it took a lot to overcome. Some of them did, but some of them didn't. Yeah. You know, Ross was gunning for me every single week. Number 9. Farrah Abraham Farrah Abraham is famous for one thing, being pregnant. She first came to the public's attention on 16 and Pregnant before starring in four seasons of Teen Mom. Look at this that I grew up with. Following the conclusion of that show's initial run in 2012, Farrah sort of just wandered. She released an album and a memoir, starred in Couples Therapy despite not having a partner, and released an amateur adult tape for $1 million. Luckily for her, the reality TV work picked back up. She's since starred in Teen Mom OG, Celebrity Big Brother, Marriage Boot Camp, MTV's Single AF, and X on the Beach. Now that's a lot of reality TV work, and all for being pregnant. I don't have to apologize because I react to like a normal human being, but better than a normal human being. Number 8. John and Kate Gosselin Kate and her husband John became stars in 2007 thanks to their reality show John and Kate Plus 8 a show that documented the lives of the couple and their eight children. He looked at me one night and he goes, Kate, six babies is not a lot of babies. And I was like, what? However, everything came crashing down in 2009 and the couple went through a messy divorce. Since then, John has kept quiet working as a DJ and line cook in Pennsylvania. Meanwhile, Kate continued starring in the reality show, now renamed Kate Plus 8 until 2017. I believe that it's a chapter that probably would have played out had the world been watching or not, now in hindsight looking back. Two years later, she began a new reality show called Kate Plus Date, which follows her adventures in the dating world. If there's one thing we've learned here, it's that Kate's name will always be rhymed with whatever it is she's doing. Have you noticed? I'm single for the last decade. Number 7. Spencer Pratt and Heidi Montag This couple, lovingly named Spidey, originally rose to prominence on MTV's The Hills. Their relationship, along with their constant bickering with Montag's friend Lauren Conrad, quickly became the show's biggest talking points. If I do this with you, though, you're gonna be serious, right? No more messing around, no playmates. Deal. Following the conclusion of The Hills in 2010, Spidey has starred in a ridiculous number of reality shows. These include, whew, Celebrity Big Brother, Celebrity Wife Swap, Marriage Boot Camp, Celebrity Big Brother, yes again, and The Hills New Beginnings, yes another Hills. No one thought we last, but we have certainly proved them wrong, Spencer and Heidi. And that's not even counting their documentaries, Spidey Scandals, Secrets and Surgery, and Aftershock Heidi and Spencer. But hey, at least they're still together after all this time. That's gotta count for something, right? Every second with Spencer just gets better and better every year, and we just love being together and appreciate each other. Cheers to our future and the possibilities in our health and family and happiness. Number 6. Mama June Mama June is a character, that's for sure. Her and her idiosyncratic Southern family rose to prominence on Toddlers and Tiaras before scoring their own spin-off, the infamous Here Comes Honey Boo Boo. Despite being widely ridiculed, it aired for four seasons before being canceled amidst reports that Mama June was dating a convicted criminal. It really starting to piss me off. Following the cancellation, Mama and Sugar Bear appeared on Marriage Boot Camp, and Mama started her own reality show called Mama June From Not to Hot. It chronicles her massive weight loss transformation, 
and the third season aired from March to May of 2019. Life got even crazier since I went from not to hot. Number 5. Tiffany New York Pollard Pollard rose to prominence in the late 2000s by starring in the VH1 dating show Flavor of Love. I wish you an ounce of luck and hopefully your life will be okay if it's not too damn bad. Her run was so popular and successful that she scored her own spin-off, I Love New York, which aired from 2007 to 2008. This, in turn, spawned spin-offs of its own, New York Goes to Hollywood and New York Goes to Work. Since then, New York has gone to work on Celebrity Big Brother, The Next 15, Famously Single, Scared Famous, and Braxton Family Values. Oh my goodness, the things that are swirling around in my head. In 2019, she appeared as a guest judge on an episode of RuPaul's Drag Race. Now that's how a reality TV star stays relevant over a decade. Now what's your favorite musical of all time? Obviously, it's Hair. Number 4. Bethany Frankel Nothing kicks off a reality TV career better than The Real Housewives. For example, Kim Zolciak Bierman has been riding her fame from The Real Housewives of Atlanta since 2008. This isn't gonna work. Tell my kid she's gonna go to hell. <laughs> That same year, Bethany Frankel began starring in The Real Housewives of New York City, the 11th season of which aired throughout the summer of 2019. The success of that show has spawned an entire Bethany Frankel extended universe, including a documentary called Bethany Ever After, a talk show simply titled Bethany, and a Bravo show called Bethany and Frederick. Are you as sick of hearing the word Bethany as we are of saying it? Oh my god. What are we gonna do? What am I supposed to do with them? You cannot do this! Number 3. The Situation Despite nearing his 40s, the situation is still going strong. This is the situation right here. My abs are so ripped up, it's called the situation. Real name, Michael Sorrentino, the situation became popular through Jersey Shore, that MTV reality show about partying, fighting, and shamelessly embodying Italian-American stereotypes. The situation appeared on the show until 2012 and was busted for tax evasion two years later. Are you serious? You're no saint either. He starred in a few shows following the charge, including Marriage Boot Camp and Worst Cooks in America, before heading to federal prison in 2019. He and Snooki are currently starring in Jersey Shore Family Vacation because the world needed another Jersey Shore starring aging reality personalities. And uh, I'm here because of my beautiful bride. And it's a miracle. Number 2. Paris Hilton Paris Hilton is one of the OG reality stars, and talking about her really takes us back. A modeling career and an amateur adult tape helped launch Hilton into the mainstream, and she began starring in a reality series with Nicole Richie called The Simple Life. And while her heyday has long passed, Hilton continues to appear on TV. People are pulling over on the freeway, oh, the taking selfies. <laughs> it causes, like, accidents almost, so I... Try to keep it at home now. <laughs> she starred in a few episodes of The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills, served as a celebrity guest on the Grand Tour, and began hosting a Viceland series called Hollywood Love Story in 2018. On top of that, she makes bank for simply showing up at clubs and events, where she's paid upwards of $300,000 per appearance. Back in the day, I literally had no publicist, no stylist, no agent, nothing. I did this all on my own. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. The Kardashian and Jenner Families The Kardashians and Jenners are like the Paris Hilton of the 2010s, and perhaps even more controversial. Fittingly, Kim Kardashian actually worked as Paris Hilton's stylist back in the day before an amateur adult tape made her famous. So it's six kids and two crazy parents. We're the modern day Brady Bunch with a kick. Hey, 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 hey. And wouldn't you know it, Keeping Up With The Kardashians began that very same year, a show that is somehow still on the air after 17 seasons and over 250 episodes. I know it's been really crazy. I just wanted to come in and check on you. I have no idea how all of this like flipped like that. The show has also launched a myriad number of spin-offs encompassing the wider family, including the Courtney and Kim series, Rob and Chyna, Life of Kylie, and Flip It Like Disick. 
Even Kanye West has been sucked into the Kardashian circle, all but ensuring that his family will never not be relevant. Yeah. No, no, I told you that before we had that conversation. We are talking about Kanye. conversation. It was a con any conversation I have is serious. I don't joke. Do you agree with our picks? Let us know in the comments. And hey, if you're a fan of the song playing right now, be sure to check out the music video for it right here.